What's up everyone, today we're going to cover the top 10 AFK skilling money making methods. To get notified of all new videos when they drop, and to help support the channel, smash that sub button and click the bell icon. How's it going everyone? Quick board before we get started. Timestamps for everything discussed in this guide can be found in the description box below, along with any links to calculators mentioned inside the methods section of this guide. First up we have Elder Trees. Cutting Elder Trees is a very consistent profit at 800k per hour, and this will require you to rotate between 3 trees every 5 minutes. This will give you a maximum AFK time of 5 minutes before you need to do any inputs. You should use a beaver, lumberjack aura and outfit, a crystal hatchet, and a perfect juju wood cutting potion. I advise that you use the Varrock, Edgeville, and Falador Elder Trees. From here we move on to Teleport Tablets. Making tablets is anywhere from 800k to 1 mil an hour. You should use the RS Wiki page linked in the description below to find out which tablets are the most profitable before you get started. This will require either a friend's house or 67 construction for the best lectern. A butler of any type can be used to continuously fetch soft clay from the bank, making it so that way you never have to leave. You will be able to AFK for over a minute and a half doing this method. Third on the list is Prif Dennis Thieving, and this will bring in 600k coins an hour and an additional 400k in various loot. You will need at least 95 thieving to thieve here with no downtime, and you should be using the Master Camouflage Outfit or the Exo Skeleton Set, an arty cloak, and a five finger discount aura. Certain clans have better loot than others, but it's not really worth min maxing for this method. Just sit back and relax. You should be able to AFK for upwards of five minutes before having to do any input. Fourth on the list is smithing cannonballs, and this method is pretty straightforward. Smithing cannonballs is one mil an hour profit, and you will need the Mauritania legs too to do this method. You'll also be required to use the furnace in Port Fast Mattis to be able to do this method. Simply fill your inventory with steel bars and run to the furnace and use them to make cannonballs. Fifth on the list is a newer method and it uses the fishing skill. There are actually three different spots that you can use to make money with this step and I will go over each one of them and talk about their profit breakdowns. In total, this method should make between 800k and 1.1 mil an hour. You are going to need 90 fishing for this method. You should use the Fury Outfit if you own it, the Call of the Seas Aura, a Granite Lobster, a Perfect Juju Fishing Potion, and a Fishing rod Matic augmented with perks or a Crystal Rod. First up we have Blue Jellyfish and these are 850k profit an hour with the current prices post hype and you should prioritize electrified jellies for faster catches. Fishing at the Swarm spot is slightly more AFK and it has a calculated profit of 1.1 mil. And finally, sailfish are slightly less AFK and have a calculated profit of 1 mil. You should prioritize the swift spots for the fastest catch rate. Six on the list is stringing various amulets and this has a calculated profit of 1.3 mil and requires 80 magic to complete. You should use the RS wiki page linked below for updated calculations while also equipping the mud battle staff. This method is nice because all you have to do is cast the spell once and it will do your entire inventory, then you simply just bank with your preset and then do it again. I debated including this method on the list, but I decided to because the profit was really decent for the amount of work that you have to do. On its own, this method has two parts. The first is only slightly AFK, giving you a break of around 15 seconds of input, while the second option will allow you to AFK for over a minute and a half. You will have to form pots and then fire them. For every five minutes you spend forming pots, you will get around 12 minutes of AFK firing. This requires 20 crafting, and you should use the RS Wiki page linked below to calculate the profit. You should equip the Artisan's Outfit if you own it, and use a portable crafter like the ones found on World 84 Combat Academy. Unless you form your pots in bulk before you want to AFK, you will only be able to fire and form 660 pots an hour if you do both. You should make loadouts for both forming and firing clay pots to speed up this process. Make sure you also set the left click option on the crafter to clay crafting. Eighth on this list is Harmonized Rune, and this is something that you will only be able to do for one hour every four hours. This has a calculated profit of over two mil an hour and requires 95 mining. To do this method, you are going to need to use the friends chat Harmed Ore and the Jagex Clock Twitter account to track the voice of Saren. For equipment inventory, you're going to need to use a Lava Titan, Perfect Juju Mining Potion, Magic Golem Outfit, a Crystal Pickaxe, and the Quarry Master Aura for the best rates. 
Once you're ready, it's as easy as hopping to the world that's called out in the French chat and then mining away. If you have porters, you can use those to increase the level of AFKness of this method. Ninth on our list is smithing rune bars, and this has a calculated profit of 2.3 mil an hour. The only requirement for this method is 85 smithing, and you will need to use a portable forge like the ones found on World 84 Combat Academy, a coal bag, and the blacksmith's outfit if you own it. You will need to make a loadout with 12 pieces of rune, a coal bag, and coal. Make sure you set the left click option on the forge to smelting, and then you are ready to go. This method will allow you to AFK for around half of a minute. When you are banking, you will be filling your coal bag by right-clicking on it and clicking fill, then you will press your preset key to get the rest of your ores out of the bank. Tenth on the list is harvesting energy, and this has a calculated profit of around 2.3 mil an hour. There are various requirements to do this method. To make the most profit, you should have 75 divination, 86 magic, and 81 summoning. You can additionally do a slightly different method if you have 101 invention. You will be using Nightmare Muspa Pouch, a Prism of Dowsing Spell, the Ring of Whispers, and the Elder Outfit. If you have 101 Invention, you will be using the Divine Vacuum. When you get to either the Elder Colony or the Incandescent Colony, you will want to cast the Prism of Dowsing near a pack of Wisps. This will give you an increased rate of Enriched Memories while also attracting Wisps. The Must Buff Familiar is pretty much a requirement for this method, as it will allow you to hold over twice the amount of memories in your inventory. That's all for this guide. If it helped you, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, talk ye out.